Hi everyone, this is Jamie Sorensen here at Two Peas in a Bucket with another personal shopper video taking your product recommendation requests. I have had some requests for graduation as the end of the school year is coming and many of you I know will be working on some projects, whether it be an album, um, showcasing pictures and memorabilia from throughout the years, or gifts or cards or something for a graduate. So I'm with all that in mind, I've pulled a variety of products today. And so I'm going to um, dive right in. And most of them I've kind of kept in mind the, the idea of a graduation album as that's what I've had the most requests for. Um, so I've split up the product in a couple parts, starting with um, some products that are more neutral. As when I think of graduation, I think of blacks and um, creams. It's to reflect a more maturing part of life. So um, I've pulled some more neutrals, but then for those of you who love color, I've pulled some for that also. So that's like in the second half of the video. So I've pulled the Classic Calico Collection from Studio Calico. This is the collection kit, so you'll see um, what comes in that pack here. And as you can tell, they've got creams, blacks, browns, and whites. And this is the second version of the Classic Calico. They had a line that we still have in the store, I believe, um, released last year, and then a second one, this most recent CHA show. So I thought um, this collection would work really well as, again, neutrals um, can help convey a more maturing part of life. And also, schools vary. Schools have different color combinations, so I don't know if you want to use those and maybe a, a, an album that you're doing or a card. Um, so this can help keep it neutral, or you can bring in school colors, of course, with these as neutrals go well with all colors. So that was the collection pack from Studio Calico. Again, check out the first line as well. This one is from the second version that they did. Some embellishments. These are also from Classic Calico. Um, some chipboard buttons in different shapes and sizes. And then this is the die cut pack with all different kinds of labels. Um, it's chipboard, so it's heavy duty. And I thought these labels would work great just as a, a landing place for little notes and titles and things like that. And then I also really like these numbers. So if you wanted to maybe show pictures from throughout the years of your child or loved one, um, you could use the grade photo and then have the corresponding number or maybe use these according to age or something like that. So they have numbers in here which I thought could be fun and all kinds of cute little sizes too. Okay, so those were the tags. Graduation and just big milestones like this in general kind of remind me of the products that we see that um, have words like dream and reach for the stars and things like that. So I pulled these star elements from Studio Calico. These are rub-ons and they're gray and they have a graph background, um, so nice and neutral. These have a map and this is from their most, one of their more recent collections. Um, and I'm spacing on the name, I can't remember. Um, I think it's abroad. Um, and then they have the scrap pad. So these are little sticky notes um, with lots of fun different shapes and sizes. I like the arrows. So you could do some cool things with this in a kind of a throughout the years album or just an al a little mini album documenting gra graduation day in general. Some neutral alphabet stickers I pulled. This is from um, the Classic Calico Collection in Studio Calico's. They're um, really this great font. I love all the curves and the lines in here. This is from Bello Boulevard. They're sophi her sophisticates, and it has one, two, three, four, five different alphas on here in um, a number of different neutrals. And I like the different styles and sizes. This is from Basic Gray the Little Black Dress Collection. 
and they have a couple great fonts in here and each font then has an uppercase and a lowercase so you're really getting like four different fonts on here and the black you can see has kind of a crisscross texture on it and this has a more distressed look. Prima has some cool alphabet stickers that are made from a canvas texture. I loved the small size and you'll notice um, the holes in the letters are filled in and it looks like they are cut out so if you don't like those you could peel out the centers um, but I kind of think it's a fun, a fun look with them filled in too. So maybe you want to create an album um, and with the neutrals in mind I pulled some albums from mini to bigger, starting out with this one by Seven Gypsies. Um, I loved the thick spine on here. It looks like it's a couple inches wide, and I won't open it. It's, um, it's, it's sealed tightly, but it has some nice big binder rings and then these thick chipboard pages. And so this I thought was, it just feels nice in your hands. It's a good size, and I like the craft color and texture so I would even maybe leave this blank or um, embellish it with some a title on the outside um, just to keep it simple. We also have a couple others from Maya Road that have a similar look and feel to them. This is a 5x5 five five chipboard binder and then they have the 5x5 five five chipboard binder with tabs. So it has um, these pages with um, holes punched in them and tabs and um, let me actually open this one. You get, you get some different pages in here. So this is more of a craft card stock. This is a chipboard and then inside you get three more of the cardstock weight pages and three more of the chipboard tabs. So they've put this on the outside just to show you kind of what's inside. So this would be a cool way to just divide up the topics within a, mal within a mini album. Maybe you want to um, have a peek at elementary school, middle school, high school, um, or sports, academics, events, things like that. So this is a cool little mini album if you wanted to do some fun organization. Another option if you like the neutral color scheme is this binder by um, Russell and Hazel. It has this really cool graphic spine and um, it's a three ring binder and then it has these cool reinforced edges with metal on the corners. Um, it's a nice sturdy binder and I think it's, it's for a cool kid. Um, what else? A couple albums that are 12 by 12. This one from American Crafts is cloth, but it has this um, really cool embroidered design. This would be great for a very elegant graduation album or even a wedding. Um, it's cloth and it's bound by posts, not rings. Um, and then it has a window in the front. This one is by Doodlebug and it's their storybook series. Um, so this one has um, some white stitching around the corners. It's uh, faux leather. It has interlocking rings and then the spine, I don't know if I can show it very well. It has this metal label holder so you can label the spine of the album which is always nice to see when it's sitting on a shelf. Um, and the page protectors, I've shown you those before. They have 12 by 12 pockets or divided page protectors in a myriad of sizes and different layouts. So you can um, mix those up and create the album, um, customize it for yourself. One other cool thing was this memory file from Heidi Swap, and this is new to the two-piece store, and I wanted to show you this because just of how large it is. Um, it, it looks like something you might find in the, the aisle of an office supply store, um, but it's, it's got the fun Heidi Swap kind of flair and funk to it. And then she has different file folders available also that I, I didn't pull, but you'll want to check those out. Um, so it's just a, a concept of um, 
organizing your memories within within a file folder and then she has different file folders that coordinate in funky patterns and things like that. Um, I pulled this because I thought for those of you who are planning for graduation things in the future, this would be a great way to get yourself organized. And then just um, a few other little things. These cards and envelopes from Doodlebug. If you're a card maker and you want to make an, uh, a card for a graduate, the Doodlebug Car individual cards and envelopes have a lot of funky different styles with unique openings and closings. And then the envelopes always have a pattern on the inside, so it just kind of takes it a step above the average card and envelope. You could also put these in albums and tuck memorabilia from throughout the years. This tape I thought was really cool. It has different um, alphabet designs on it, and it's in a washi tape in this cool um, tin set. A little graduation cap from Doodlebug. This is a dimensional cardstock sticker, and the um, has a little tassel on there with thread. This stamp from Hero Arts would um, be great for making a card for a graduate as it has all those encouraging words like great job, I knew you could do it, congrats, and then it has kind of the, the metal motif there. Chalkboard always reminds me of school and I thought these would be fun to just display like at a graduation party if you want to label what food and dishes are out or you can make a little banner with these triangle pieces it has it comes with cord you could string it through put the graduates name on it or the year um, use it as a decorative piece or even in a scrap on a scrapbook page use a white gel pen on these and it'll show up great Another card set, um, these from Canvas Corp. When, again, with graduation, I just think of black and white and kind of classic colors. And I thought these polka dots were really fun and youthful. Now, moving on to the more colorful products that we have um, that I thought would work well for this topic. Maybe there's a gentleman in your life who's graduating and you're at a loss for what paper collection would be good to use for this. Um, I chose the Chap Collection from American Crafts as it kind of has an office-y feel that reminds me of school and it's more mature than some of the school themed papers and embellishments that we see and then the um, patterns on here I think your teenage son or teenage guy in your life would agree these are these are not little kid patterns. They're mature, they're cool, they're hip. Um, so these are just a few of the embellishments. This is the ribbon set, fabric brads, bits. Um, so these are decorative tabs. I thought it'd be fun to do a layout um, with different photos of throughout the year and then you could label what grade or what age they were with a little tab above the photo. All kinds of different possibilities with those actually. That's just the first thing that came into my head. Um, printed chipboard shapes. These are really fun little frames. Some of them have holes in them so you could secure them down with brads. And then I just pulled some of the papers. I'll just kind of flip through them quickly. Unlike other American Crafts papers, um, a lot of American Crafts papers have like a bright white background, but these are um, more subtle and the they kind of have a, a really faint vignette around the edges so it looks um, like you can see it with this paper. It's dar a darker red in the corners than it is in the center so it kind of brings your eye inward. Um, so if maybe you don't like the bright white patterns of American Crafts, these are very different and I thought that was really cool. Okay. A more gender neutral collection is this one from Studio Calico, although there are some florals in here. Um, but this is another one of their newer collections and this is called Take Note. And the composition like book patterns in this reminded me of school and I thought this would be really cool. Um, I'll just kind of flip through these quickly. Um, lots of bright colors. that just remind me of a young person. So I thought they, these would work well. 
another really bright collection, and this is kind of more of a girly feel, is the BU collection from Fancy Pants. Um, again, the words and phrases like be yourself, dream, um, reach for the stars, things like that. Those are all words and phrases that are really appropriate for um, graduation time as it's an important threshold in one's life. So I won't go through the papers, but I'll just show you briefly the patterns. Um, it has a really strong theme and emphasis on typography. So we see this really cool graphic print in here, like live in the moment, be you, um, all these inspiring words that I think bring more of a mature, that typography, it's more of a hip, cool thing. And then it has some whimsical, youthful accents too, like birds and flowers and things like that. Another colorful paper collection that could be um, fun for a girl who's graduating is the Amy Tan sketchbook collection. And I have the 6x6 six six paper pad in front of me here, but we also have the twi them in 12x12 12 12 sheets. Um, and it has just a lot of cool doodles and bright colors. It has um, kind of a subtle watercolor feel, very artsy and whimsical. little hearts, chevron, it's very trendy. And then if you wanna go a mini album route, she has one of her, um, she's done another day book and this is in the sketchbook, one of the sketchbook versions. So it is a 24 page mixed media album with all these cool different size papers and patterns that just make flipping um, to each new page something interesting as you're you're not sure what to expect if you wanted to put in photos from through the years or from graduation day itself um, this would could be a really cool option so that concludes today's video on graduation I hope it was helpful and as always we have a prize associated with the video so if you leave a comment on the video on the two peas website you will be entered to win um, some products that I pulled together that I thought would work well for kind of the neutral side of graduation or school with these labels and um, letter stickers, rub-ons, and clouds. So um, be sure to share with me what kinds of videos you'd like to see in the future, and thanks so much for watching.